everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared's Pulpit and Hobby.com. This is Coco. We are seven month old male neutered kitty. He has been um, having upper respiratory sounds his whole life. He's a rescue kitten. They have spent $2,000 getting to the point where someone told them that their kitty has a polyp, but they couldn't afford to do any more because everyone wants to refer for that. So we are intubated under general anesthesia. And as I was intubating, I saw a polyp in the mouth, so behind the soft palate. So we are going to take that out right now. Um, his heart sounded good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can you hold his head? So we always have multiple people and we're always under anesthesia. Um, and I always tell people that I am not a referral clinic. I understand why people refer them because there they have different options, but it always takes a couple of hands. So here's our endotracheal tube. Here's the tongue. Here is the soft palate. And when you pull the soft palate back, there's his polyp. This red kind of fleshy round thing. So um, Dr. Aarons is gonna hold, we hold. Okay. The, uh, the really important part is to get it as far back as possible. So as close to the stalk as possible, get a really good bite of it and oh. then twist. <laughs> and then there's the stalk. So we want to get the stalk out. Um, the biggest con for, concern for me is always bleeding. So I always keep them under anesthesia. I always make sure that I had a cat, what, last week that had two. So we always want to make sure there's not anything else back there. Um, but and the swallow reflex is normal. Let me see. Sometimes I have to use my finger to feel because that's the best tool I've got. I think there might be another one right there. Can you see it, Dora? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see what, let's see what that little bugger gets us. There's number two. Okay, yay, yay team. Okay, now we always pack the throat with gauze because we do need, um, and that's it. It took us all of how long? Um, I, I don't. They're yeah. huge too. I, I'm not gonna argue that having a scope and doing this with a specialist and looking and blah, blah, blah isn't all great, but otherwise these guys suffocate and there's no reason why that should happen. Um, they can recur. I have had a couple that have recurred. I've had one who had a really big ear. We did that one yesterday. Um, and, you know, those are, they're really easy to evolve. you just got to be brave enough to do it. And then you've got to, um, you know, tell people, but just be honest, just say it would be great if you could go get retroflux endoscopy and see everything that we're doing. But otherwise, these things continue to grow in the back of your throat and you suffocate. And these cats are usually thin because they're having trouble eating and they snore all the time. And that's a polyp. If there's any vets out there that want to come and do it with us, <laughs> I'm happy to not be the only one doing them. All right, this is about, it's about $300. It's anesthesia, um, an extra couple of hands, and then just patience and jumping in. If you have any questions, you can find me here at Jared'sville Vet in Jared'sville, Maryland, or at Pavley.com. <laughs> Thanks to Coco's family for letting me share.